our spiky little Roman. To counter him, pick someone like Olaf, who can constantly poke him with his Q and will ignore Pantheon CC with his own ultimate, thereby evading a lot of the damage. Shen can constantly follow Pantheon to wherever he decides to ult with his own and can counter engage with his well-timed E. Darius can sort of ignore his passive if he autos before W and then fights him head on. Plus, his Q is actually almost exactly the same range as Darius's. Malphite, who can armor up, Yorick, who can kite him for ages, and Cho'Gath, if he tanks it up a bit in the early game, all make good counters too. Pantheon's passive makes him stack every time he autos or uses an ability. At 4 stacks, he gains a protection that blocks the next auto, monster attack, or even turret shot. His Q makes him throw a point click spear at you. His W makes him leap at you for a very short distance and stun you for 1 second, while also activating his Aegis shield to block the next auto. His E passively makes his Q and auto's crit targets below 15% health, and when activated will deal physical damage to all enemies in a cone in front of him. Finally, his ultimate makes him fly and has a huge range, he tunnels for 2 seconds before jumping to a target location, dealing damage to all enemies and also slowing them for a brief duration. In lane, he'll want to constantly poke you down with Q, but it does not have such a great range, so you might be able to poke him back if you use abilities. As for spells, it will depend on his playstyle. If you catch him playing Ignite, then you can be sure that he'll be playing very aggressive and searching for an early kill, and a chance to snowball, but if he takes DP, then he'll be more focused on the mid and late game ganking opportunities and might play a little bit more passive. Taking Teleport is what I recommend if you can wait out his massive early game snowball potential. In terms of power spikes, he gets them at levels 4, 5 and 6. Right now, his spears are doing quite a bit of damage, and he will definitely look for an engage opportunity. 6 grants him his roaming potential to help out other lanes. He's very strong in the early to mid game and falls off a bit in the late game, so be patient. Dustblade is a very good early item on him and will spike his burst potential a lot, so be careful. Stacking up a bit of armor before going for damage is a godsend in this lane. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his passive will not only deny you autos, but also turret shots, so care about dives. His W activates his passive, so don't bother trading an auto for it, and his Q has low range, so he'll come close for a poke. Use that chance to poke with abilities as well. Ultimately, have fun doing it.